So um, everyone's talking about Breath of the Wild. Everyone's looking forward to it. Um, what may not be immediately obvious, because it does seem to be 180 degrees in the opposite direction from the previous Zelda title, Skyward Sword, um, according to uh, Zelda producer I.G. Anuma, the um, reaction to Skyward Sword is what helped inspire Breath of the Wild's um, open world uh, gameplay. Um, Basically, a lot of people commented on the parts of Hyrule that you go into with Skyward Sword. And if you haven't played Skyward Sword, your main Hyrule field slash, you know, great, great sea. What, what, what is that called in Wind Waker when you're on this? What is this, the ocean called? Is it called like the Great Sea or something like that? I honestly can't remember a name. Well, we'll just call it the ocean then. Keep it generic. But the the Hyrule field and the and the ocean segments that you typically see in, in Zelda games, in Skyward Sword, it's Skyloft and flying around in the sky above the clouds. Um, that's your main huge section that you have to explore. Um, and when you do go down to Hyrule, you only have a few main areas that you can explore that are you know self-contained and they they don't really. They don't connect at all. You basically have to go back up into the sky and fly around to get to another area. Um, and a lot of people didn't like that. Um, so, according to Anuma, um, he said that we listened to a lot of opinions from people who played Skyward Sword. And a lot of people said to us how they found the game not exactly unsatisfying, but they wish they could have explored the areas between the strongholds. So taking that on board from the very start of Breath of the Wild, we wanted to set out and create a world that wasn't only vast, but where everything was connected. So you really could feel or could freely explore the world without the, these barriers or gaps imposed. And let me just say that I have been wait. I don't know exactly how Breath of the Wild is going to be. I've never played any demo of it. I don't know exactly... Um, how much of my idea that it, it it'll it'll play into of what what it's going to be as far as the Zelda game goes. Um, I've said for years that Zelda games need to be less about the dungeons and more about exploring the world. And I feel like that's what Breath of the Wild is doing. It's making it about the overworld, not about the overworld is just a way for you to get from dungeon one to dungeon two to get the next item and then go to dungeon three and get the next item and then go to and doing like maybe one or two things in the overworld in the meantime or have the overworld only be a setting for like side quests and talking to NPCs like that's what I that that's the one thing about Zelda that used to bug me because it seemed like every game played out the same same way you got eight dungeons you play them in order you get the next cool item in in them and then you move on to the next dungeon like just dungeon crawler ish too, a little bit too much for my taste so i love it when certain zelda games would actually break that trope and go off in a different direction and and i'm really looking forward to that with breath of the wild and i think it's funny that the they got the idea for that with breath of the wild just based on <laughs> people's complaints about Skyward Sword. And you had mentioned before about the, uh, it looks like the stamina meter is making a return that was in Skyward Sword, and you're not too thrilled about that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's like... First, I think that's a really... I also think that's a really cool thing, that they turned a weakness... And they completely turned it around to make it, like, the game's strength. To make it, like, this fast open world. Plus, like, that's just the coolest thing ever. To make a giant Hyrule open world sandbox-esque game that you can just roam around in and do anything. That is going to be huge from the looks of it. Huge. Like, they have said multiple times that it is larger than, like, Skyrim's, like, giant map. Which, let that sink in. Like, seriously, Skyrim, I've never played the game. But I have seen people be like, 
zoom out of that and be like, just so you know how large, is it uh, Tamriel or is it just Skyrim? Sky okay, so Skyrim, the, the actual world, they're like, they just zoom out of the map and it keeps going and going and going. And if they have like certain side quests, like map, you know, like uh, uh, mapped on there, like you'll just see it, like the screen just fill with all these like different places and different quests. And it's mind boggling and it's overwhelming. Yeah. So if this is bigger than that, I'm really happy because Zelda is one of those games that I can absolutely get lost in and just like spend hours doing anything. Plus with like all the hidden items that like Zelda games normally have, like heart containers, mm -hmm. um, upgrades for certain items. Zelda is one of those few games where you never feel like you're wasting your time. You never feel like the game is giving you the runaround. I mean, there, there are some, I would say like maybe with Wind Waker, that one part of the game where you're, looking for the different Triforce pieces. It feels a little bit like busy work, but for the most part, um, whenever you're doing something in Zelda, you're doing it for for good reason. And the game, even if it's just wandering around, you always feel like the game rewards you. Yeah. And like a few other things seem to be carrying over. Like the, the art style from uh, Scarlet Sword, I can kind of see it it's it's been updated yeah it's a more like they've they've stylized it to fit more as like its own game mm -hmm. but you can tell it's like okay well this is like it this really is just supposed to be like it, it looks like it's going to be a better version of skyward sword in a lot of ways except for i i liked and disliked the stamina i think because you play Dark Souls, and Dark Souls has a stamina meter. Dark Souls has a stamina meter, but the stamina is, like, whenever you swing. Uh, when you block and take a hit, that takes stamina. When you run, that takes stamina. Um, rolling, dodging. Rolling takes stamina. So, like, the whole, like, stamina is a huge part of the game, and that's a big game mechanic. Which is, like, it's fine. And it's honestly one of the things that makes the game challenging, because you, you, you have to choose your moves carefully or you'll die and this one it's just like here's a way to make link faster which is like good thank you because link is slow he is slow as he's just like he's wearing iron boots yes <laughs> but it's like in every zelda game there's always like it's like his walking is just like so slow that just there's just other actions or like items that you have to get that'll make him like run faster like, like pegasus boots pegasus boots rolling rolling is fast. Yeah. how can a man roll with a giant sword on his and back sh and shield and shield and all those items he's carrying and somehow when he walks he's slow but he can roll perfectly yeah. and faster. And honestly, I cannot stand watching other watching other people play Ocarina of Time and, it is, and they, they just roll everywhere because, oh, well, that's the fastest way to get everywhere. Yeah, but it looks stupid. So don't do it. <laughs> I guess there's Epona, but... And, and you know, warping help, helps with stuff, but... Um, the stamina, I like um, it because I think Link should be able to run. If he's able to carry all of that and be fine... I think he should be able to at least like run or jog. In ooh, Skyward Sword, they made that thing go so fast. Like, you could get a sprint. For like a few seconds. Yeah. Climbing, I think, took stamina. It did. And it just like... Okay, but... But why though? And even doing certain certain sword techniques, because that ha it had the Wii Motion Plus, and it was one to one with different things you do with your sword. Um, I, I can think, kind of oh, see. Oh, keeping that. your shield raised, I want to say, uh, took stamina. So yeah, they used it a lot. And from what I've seen of Breath of the Wild, it seems like sprinting and scaling things. Climb, climbing up walls is going to take stamina. See, running, I can see as, like, taking energy. And the whole, like, s like, the whole energy bar is not what I have a problem with. I have a problem with how fast it deteriorates. Yeah. And how short of, like, bursts you get. I think climbing is the dumbest thing to, like, oh, this also takes stamina. And in all 3D Zelda games, Link has been able to climb perfectly fine. Like, 
he can't run, which is fine. He's able to climb perfectly well. Mm -hmm. But for some reason now, it's like, oh, you better get up there. He's going to fall. Well, the thing of the thing about Breath of the Wild, though, I think it's going to work. You you like see him using stamina on things that don't look like he should be able to climb. Like he'll just be climbing like a rock face. Like you, the only time you could climb in Zelda is like if there's like you know vines or or a ladder or something that's obviously climbable. He's climbing up like it seems like you can climb anything in this game, and it's. I think the stamina meter is going to be a good thing because it's going to like basically make it so that you can't just climb to the top of every single thing that you see. You know, the, the game world does have its limits. <laughs> if that's the case, that's perfectly fine. Mm-hmm. If they make it to where your stamina like deteriorates slower, I'd be completely okay with that because like. It does seem to. Because, like you said, like I've played, I've played Dark Souls. I can handle a stamina bar, and that you can you can get things that like increase how fat like increase your stamina recovery. Right. And that game is like okay, that's fine because like without them, your stamina recovery is like stupid slow, and it makes the game just unbearable. Mm-hmm. So I don't know why anyone wouldn't get the uh, Chlorinthy ring. It's like that's that's the ring to have it increases your stamina recovery which is it makes the game so much easier yeah not by a lot but it makes it easier if they were to if even if like an item if they were to give you like a ring that you could wear or something uh that would like increase your stamina or like make it to where it it goes down slower that'd be fine i'm totally okay with that if they make it how it went down as fast in Skyward Sword and this game, I'm going to have another problem with it. Yeah. Interesting, interesting all around, though. 